Hello everyone and welcome to another Storytime Saturday. My name is Helena Murray and today we are going to be reading 10 Ways to Hear Snow. This book was provided to us once again by our friends over at Brightside Bookshop. Make sure you visit them in store or online to find this book and other great books. 10 Ways to Hear Snow, written by Kathy Camper and illustrated by Kennard Pack. When Lena woke up, everything was quiet. No cars honked, no buses chugged, no garbage trucks gulped trash across the street. Last night's blizzard was gone, leaving the city muffled and white. But today was Grape Leaf Day, when Lena would help her grandma make Warak Anab. Sidi was losing her eyesight and Lena loved helping her cook. I want to tell Sidi about the snowstorm and make sure she's okay. The snow's so deep, Lena's mom said. We could go with you, Lena's dad offered. But Lena wanted to go to Sidi's by herself. Stay warm, Habibti, her daddy told her. Lena bundled up. Outside, the sun on the snow was as bright white as a light bulb. Lena squinched her eyes and pulled her scarf over her nose. She could barely see. I wonder if this is how City feels, Lena thought. The world sounded softer, but the noises she heard were clearer. Scrape, scrip, scrape, scrip. What was that? It was Mrs. Watson's shovel digging out the sidewalk. That's one way to hear snow, Lena thought. Lena walked down the street, snick, snick, snick. The noise was low to the ground. What was that? It was the treads of Lena's boots crunching snow into tiny waffles. Two ways to hear snow. Lena ducked under a pine tree, Ploof. a powdery sound. A blue jay on a branch had knocked down snow. Three ways to hear snow, Lena counted. She listened for more. Swish, 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 swish. What was that soft whiskery noise? People were sweeping snow off their cars. Their brushes made the fourth way to hear snow. Lena cut across the park. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Another snow noise? Lena saw long skinny tracks by her boots. Ahead of her, people were skiing. Their skis made the fifth way to hear snow. Rashid and Miriam were building a snowman. Pat, pat. What was that? It was mittens smoothing the snowman's head. The gentle sound made the sixth way to hear snow. As Lena walked away, her friends whispered and laughed. Thwomp! Oh no! Lena ran away fast from the seventh way to hear snow. As Lena reached City's building, all out of breath, her boots covered with white powder. Stomp, stomp, stomp! Lena giggled. She was making the eighth way to hear snow. Hello, Lena, the lady in the lobby said. Go on in. She pointed toward Lena's grandma's room. Lena tapped on the door. Surprise, City, it's me. I came to make grape leaves with you. Lena throw her, threw her coat and mittens on the radiator to dry. Wonderful. The lamb and rice are ready, City said. Yalla, I can't wait, Lena shouted. Let's get started. Lena rinsed the grape leaves and placed them on towels. Put some filling in the center, roll them up and put them in the pot, City instructed. They're like little grape leaf cocoons, Lena said, looking at them piled on the plate. Or lots of little sleeping bags, City replied. Ha, <laughs> mine looks like a mustache. Lena held her stuffed grape leaf under her nose. City held hers under her nose too. 
that's good. She wrinkled up her face and said, we look like a couple of real tough guys in a tough guy voice. City, did you know we had a blizzard last night? Of course. Lena was surprised. How could her grandma know when she couldn't see very well? Then she heard a noise. Drip, drip, went the mittens. It was the sound of snow melting. Nine ways to hear snow. Suddenly, Lena understood how City knew. City, do you hear the snow? City smiled. Each morning, I open the window and listen. Today, everything sounded hushed and soft. No noise is the sound that means it's snowing. City, I listen too. I heard snow nine different ways. Shovels were one, boots were two, the blue jay was three. Slow down, Habibti. I want to hear them all. But right now, shh. City went to the window and opened it, opened it again. Listen, she said. Outside, the late blue afternoon was completely still. Quiet is the tenth way to hear snow. The end. Thank you so much for joining me to read this book today. I hope you are all enjoying the snowy weather we've gotten, and I look forward to seeing you next time for our next Storytime Saturday. Bye!